I've been asked on behalf of everyone here to make a little presentation this evening. I would have had my PowerPoint ready for you, but it came kind of unexpectedly for me, if you know what a PowerPoint presentation is. You know what a PowerPoint is? Uh, PowerPoint, see. It's, it's on, on a computer, a computer, and I have video, and yeah. shoot movies, and pictures, and all How that. How wonderful oh. you are. How wonderful it all would have been about you. Yeah. Yeah. But, first of all, I have to start by telling all of you that I've been asked to do this uh, by some of the group to stand up here. And I started to think about, well, gee, that's kind of an honor you know, to be asked to do this on behalf of all 20 of you. And then I started to think, wait a minute. <laughs> Why are they asking me? Because I'm the loudest? <laughs> the most boisterous? So then I started to think to myself, maybe this isn't quite the honor. So then I had to go sit down and take a squat and think about it. <laughs> so while I was squatting, I started to think about, I need to leave Dan with something. What could I leave him with that is probably the most precious thing in China today. So I'm sitting there, squatting, and I thought, well, Emperor Qin would probably say it was gold. Emperor Ming might say it was porcelain or China or jade. Emperor Ting might say that it was you know, something else. Well, I'm sitting there, and I came up with the idea that I thought this was the most precious item in China. <laughs> I've prepared my speech <laughs> for time. So I thought that since this is the most precious item in China, maybe someday you would either be able to take this to your tomb or your mausoleum. <laughs> Where do you want to go with that? But I started to think about what would I say to you on behalf of, of the group. It was eight days ago that all of us came together. And then I started to think, we came together in Shanghai. And then I thought, were we shanghai by Dan? <laughs> but the trip was a wonderful trip. You know, it started off, I'll never forget, I asked Dan, I said, where are we going for our first destination? And he said, we. And then I went, we. And he went, woo. And I went, who? And he went, woo, woo. And I went, woo, who? Anyway, long story short, as you all know, we went off to the Canal City as our first adventure, and then from there, one thing led to another. The other thing I found as, as we went along with Dan is that Dan always gave us one hour. <laughs> <laughs> he was the one hour man. But he, took, he, he protected us all along the way. He kind of felt like we were his little flock. We were his little peeps, and he was the, the, chick, you know, the hen of the chicken, the chicken. And... Um, he, he's done a great job with all of us, and I know that as I went around China myself, and I'm sure that as y'all, if you went around China yourself, you know, the sites that we saw, you'd probably say they were spectacular, it was unbelievable, they were awesome, they were stupendous, and those are all the words, you know, and, and et cetera, that you could probably come up with about China. And then I started to think, those are the words that I would use to describe Dan hey. and this trip, that he was just saying. Hey. Wonderful, stupendous, awesome, spectacular, fantastic, caring, warm, <laughs> loyal, trustworthy, you know, that's all, all those words you, know, you can use to describe oh, yeah. someone. So Dan, on behalf of all 21 of us, Kenneth has an envelope for you that we would like to present And the winner you. is... <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Everybody Thank you. Oh, very wonderful <laughs> speech. <time. laughs> this time, yeah. Karaoke, yeah, yeah. karaoke. <laughs> uh, first, I uh, just, uh, just uh, bottom up this uh, beer. Okay? Oh, sometimes I say, up your bottom. <laughs> Chinglish sometimes is a wrong word of order.
Oh, nice one. Well, I'm done just after this.